here you see one of the most popular wrestlers in the CW wrestling style and shading coming into the ring and he's firing up the crowd. Everybody loves Style and Shane, and I tell you what, that guy has more moves, Paul Adams. Yeah, there he is, the poster boy of MCW for the caffeine fit for apprentice. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. This guy comes in there way, way, way too hyper. Look at him dancing. Ladies around. and gentlemen, what a match this is going to be. Style and Shane against the very dangerous assassin. And Shane, I already think you're taking this match as a little too lightly. But let me tell you, when he walks out and this crowd goes absolutely berserk, I mean, they love this kid. Absolutely one of the most popular wrestlers on the circuit, and I'm not so sure in the whole country right now. Style and Shane Eden, they love it. Well, you come out here all the time, Burt Prentice, and you talk about how he draws off the fans. He draws energy off of these fans. But what you don't know about this assassin, this man draws energy and power off the power of money, and he's a hired hand. He's in there to take care of guys exactly like Shane Eden. Well, unbeknownst, and, and aren't we surprised that the assassin jumps him from behind? The dreaded assassin, world-renowned, ladies and gentlemen, against Style and Shane Eaton, the 1997 Rookie of the Year. Well, you know, Bert, if you want to talk about hired hands in here, the assassin's a perfect example. I'm talking about professionals, professional wrestling. That's what the assassin is. You want to come out here all the time and talk about your big heroes like Shane Eaton and the Kiss Babies. That's not what it's all about. It's about money. This is a business, Bert Prentice. It is not. It is a business. You know what I'd really like to talk about is tonight at the National Fairgrounds Arena. What an incredible card. Jamie Dundee against Flash Flanagan. Somebody's leaving town tonight, Paul. Somebody. I'll tell you what. I called the psychic hotline this week, Burt Prentice. I can tell you what exactly is in store for that J.C. Ice. He's leaving Nashville. Next bus out of town. I'll tell you what. A big one at the Louisville Gardens this Tuesday night. One of your favorite places. Yeah, Louisville Gardens. That's one of my favorite places. Let me tell you what exactly what I'm going to do, Burt Prentice. From now on, I'm going to dig a bunker down here in Nashville, Tennessee, because all these stupid tornadoes have been going on around here. And I'm only coming out to go to places like Louisville Gardens and the Nashville Fairgrounds and whatever other towns you got coming up solely for the sole purpose of getting in these people's faces and disappointing them and their big heroes like Shane Eaton. It has been a crazy week for weather here in Tennessee. We hope all our fans are safe and well. They're the assassin chopping style and Shane Eaton. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going on tour next Saturday night, a week from tonight. We'll be in Lebanon at the Airport Armory over in Lebanon, one of your favorite places. And then uh, two weeks from Friday, Friday, May 1st in Lafayette at the Lafayette Middle School Gym, sponsored by the Lafayette Lions Club. Heck, we're coming to Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, Royalton, Illinois. We're going to be at the Benton, Kentucky Fair this year. So many big shows coming. And my friend, my dear friend uh, Claudine over at the Dixon Fleetport USA Convention Center, she said the building will be ready for action. Friday, May 22nd, the tornado ripped part of that building up, but they're going to have it ready. In fact, they're having a big concert this Friday night. Earl Thomas Conley is going to be there, and Michael Johnson and T. Graham Brown. That concert's going to happen over the Dixon Freeport USA Convention Center this Friday night. And you people in Dixon, get out there see one of the best country concerts you're ever going to see. But I tell you, Dixon Wrestling will be back May 22nd. Well, that's all fine and dandy, Burt Prentice. While the assassin's in the ring taking care of business, you're sitting here rattling off a bunch of nasal twang singers, none of which I've ever even heard of. Not to mention some of these towns that you mentioned out here. Some of them are probably so small, the McDonald's in them towns only got one arch. Wait a minute. that kid, Look at that kid in the front row. Is he dressed like Paul Adams? You have a son? No you have a son. I got a Paul Adams has a son. He's in the front row. Keep that quiet. You must have read that on the internet or something. I have a ventriloquist act going, Burt Prentice. I need to make some money on the side because you don't pay me very well to come in here and speak my mind and pontificate. I don't read the internet. That garbage. You don't read. Period. The assassin choking style and shaney down the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Robert Briscoe doing the count. Briscoe's a great referee, huh? Not like that Gene Johnson. Brisk, yeah, let me tell you about Briscoe and his refereeing abilities. He's got one eye on the match and his other eye's on the one watching the match. The dreaded assassin. Style and Shane Eaton, ladies and gentlemen, wrestling out of Miami, Florida, now makes his home right here in Nashville, Tennessee. The dreaded assassin. I'll tell you what, something that I dread every week, Burt Prentice, is coming in here to call these matches with you because you don't even do that. I dare to try and call a match, Burt, instead of plugging your towns and trying to worry about stuffing your pockets full of green cash. Well, I want the people out there in TV land to know when we're coming to their town. I also want them to know to mark your calendars because the next big super card for MCW is Saturday night, June 6th. And we're going to be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the National Wrestling Alliance already signed Paul Adams to be here Saturday night June 6th 
handsome Harley Race, one of the living legends of the NWA, Dory Funk Jr. Let me tell you, I got a lot of surprises. That's going to be the biggest card ever at the National Fairgrounds Arena, and I guarantee that will be the biggest gate. We will open the top balcony that night on when we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the National Wrestling Alliance, Saturday, June 6th. Matter of fact, the only way you can get a ringside seat to that is in the mail, and we're going to be giving information about that next week. You cannot buy these tickets the night of the show, <laughs> ringside seat. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you right now, and I'm going to let the fans know what's going on. You can only buy ring seats that way. I see about 10 dozen of those tickets sticking out of your back pocket in here. I think you're going to sit out there in front of the Nashville Fairgrounds and scalp them, Burt Prentice. That's what you're up to. It's going to be a great night when NWA legends come to Nashville. We've signed two already, Handsome Harley Race. Dory Funk Jr. will be at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena Saturday night, June 6th. Shane Eden reverses here, whips the assassin in, and a big forearm, and Shane Eden goes to the mat. And I picked up on exactly what you're up to, Bert, just as usual. You saw Shane Eden reverse that move right there, and you thought he was going to take over. So now's the time when you come out here and you, saw, you decide now you're going to call the match because your big hero, Shane Eden, is gonna take over, take control of the bout. Well, that's not what happened. Now I see you backtracking just like Shane Eden is because the assassin put him down. He's going for a, almost a three count right there. Did I tell you wrestling will be in Lebanon a week from tonight, Saturday night's 11 airport armory? I don't know, you may have thrown that in there too, Burt Prince. You've told me everything but the, the weather for the next five days. You've told me everything but the five day forecast. Why don't you speak about what's going on in the ring right there? Shane Eden is about to go out. Gonna be clear tomorrow, rain on Monday. The assassin brings Style and Shane Eaton to the mat. Goes for the cover. Whoop, picks him up. Style and Shane Eaton. I'll tell you what, what a reserve this kid has. The dreaded assassin there backing up. The referee's backing up. Style and Shane Eaton now getting up. Uh-oh, the assassin is loading the boot. Doggone it. He's loaded that boot. Style and Shane up to one knee. The assassin backs him in and whips him across. Style and Shane up underneath. And hook of the back. tights. He's got it. He beats the assassin. Style and Shane Eaton is the winner over the assassin.